Hi everyone and welcome to Mac Tips. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to boost the volume of your internal speakers on your Mac laptop or your desktop. Now, if you've ever had a situation like I have where you're watching a video from YouTube or a movie and you've already increased the sound to the maximum level and it's just not loud enough and you'd love to have a way of just boosting up that sound just a bit more, this is the video for you. So here's the tip. Um, I was actually having the problem and I found a utility and here it is. It's called Boom 2. It's made by Global Delight. And basically what it does is it artificially boosts the sound levels to make everything sound much louder and better. It also improves Spotify, iTunes, Netflix, YouTube, anything that um, has audio in it. It also has some cool equalizers uh, that adjust the frequencies and compensates for your laptop's mini internal speakers. It also customizes it directly for your Mac, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And it also has um, improved sound coming from your headphones and Bluetooth speakers. Now it costs around $14.99, but they do have a seven day trial. So you don't have to take my word for it. You could try it out and see if it works on yours. So uh, first of all, just to show you, uh, basically uh, it comes as a DMG file. All you would do is download it and drag it into your applications folder and then just open it up and run it. Once it opens up, it'll ask you to install it. You're going to click install. Um, and then uh, it's going to come up to a window like this. Now, as you can see, there's a little icon in the upper uh, right hand corner here that looks just like uh, the boom 2 that's it because you're going to also have the ability to get to the volume booster right from here so it has already detected my system and it knows i'm running a macbook pro and as you can see uh, there it is and it's asking me to calibrate it and i'm going to go ahead and do that right now because um, what it's going to do is look at the speakers that i have in here the setup the os and everything else and then it's going to figure out the best setup for this particular computer now that's pretty cool considering that um, each Mac computer could be slightly different, especially with the speakers. And this is going to find the best audio quality. This um, application works all the way from Yosemite and up. And it even has special ways of working with their equalizer effects uh, that will work on the touch bar on the new Macs. So let's go ahead and calibrate my Mac Pro and see how this thing works. So it's uh, setting up Boom 2 and optimizing the audio output. Now it's going to customizing the audio output. Pretty cool. Never saw an installer that uh, does this kind of animation. Pretty cool also. There it goes. Now it's on stage three. And almost done. There you go. Now you can hear the music playing. Normally this would be how loud it is. But if you go all the way up to there and you can see, start booming. Here we go. So at this point, this now becomes activated and this actually adjusts the volume right from here. So that's a uh, pretty cool, very easy setup. They also have some of these audio effects packs that you could buy separately, but the basic one for just the uh, equalizer and the boom to boom the volume is uh, part of just the basic package and it's fine. And I pretty much just use that one. But if you are somebody who wants to do some cool effects coming directly out of your Mac to your speakers or your headphones, um, maybe you want to have surround sound on your headphones, uh, this can do it. And so that's pretty much all there is to set it up. Uh, then you run it. It also has a app for uh, the iPhone, and I'll show you that as well. Uh, but the basic thing for this is uh, the iPhone app does the same things that it does for the Mac, but it will increase kind of the, the volume that's in the headphones, which you normally use. And uh, it'll also do that same thing where it calibrates it. So uh, you can actually uh, either download it directly from the iTunes store for $14.99, or you can try out, which I recommend, the seven-day trial. And I'll leave a link for this in uh, the comments area. You could download the free trial, try it out for seven days. It also has, which is pretty cool, um, an app for the phone that allows you to uh, you know, use it as a remote control. So you definitely, if you're going to download it, try out that app. I think the app is free. Um, and basically, it allows you to control 
uh, the laptop um, by using your iPhone as a remote. So that's actually pretty cool as well. Well, let me know if this works for you because it worked great for me. Um, it has some cool effects. Try them all out because during the seven day trial, you get an opportunity to try them all out. And hope you liked uh, this tip. Uh, like the video if you liked it. And please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for listening.